Hello viewers, in this tutorial, I will show you how to use your own picture as a Windows Logon logo. So what you do is to go, click on your Windows icon in the Start button and you type Run. It should appear on top. You just hit Enter and it will come. And here you, you type Red Digit. That is Registry Editor. So Red Digit. And you click on OK. Uh, this window should pop up. And you have about, um, let me say, um, five major folders. You, you find the eight key local machine, H key local machine, and you just extend it. You click on that to extend it. Then you should find the software. When you click on the software, just scroll down to find um, which one I'm looking for Microsoft. Yeah, so from software, you should find Microsoft. Click on the extend button, then you scroll down to find the Windows. So Microsoft, then you find Windows. Now let's find Windows. That is the Windows. This is what we're looking for the folder. Click on the extend button. Then you should find the current version. I think always is the first current version. We extend it again, and then you should find the authentication folder. Authentication folder. Here it is. You click on the extend button, and then you should find this logon ui logon ui understand it and you should find on um, the background this is what we are looking for the background now when you click on the background you should find oem background this is what we are going to use so when you find this oem background you just double click on it and then here you make sure that the base is selected as has a decimal and then the value inside the hazard decimal should be one so if yours is zero, change it to one and click on OK. Now in case you don't have this OEM background here, you need to create it. Now this is how to create it. You just come to the background, you right click, you go to new, and you choose new deal with test debate, you click on that, and then you just enter this name, OEM background here. So when we are done, now you have to go to your Windows, find your drive C. Click on Windows. Click on Windows, and then you should find your System 32. Um, go down. System the folder, and then you double click. So Windows System 32. When you find your System 32, you should find a folder called OOBE. So go down. The vertical order. And, and open, yeah. Okay, here it is. Double click to open. Now you should find a folder called info. If you don't have it, then it doesn't. You have to create a new folder and have the info folder. Okay, you double click. So you should find this background, and you double click to open. Now here is where we are going to copy our the the picture we, we want it to appear. Okay, so what you do now is to find the picture. Have this picture that I want to use. Now, once you have to notice that the picture you want to use should have a size less than 2056, 2056 or less than that. So check the size of your file. My own is um 608 kilobyte, which is way too large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, edit it with um. So I'm going to open it with Microsoft Office Picture Manager. You don't need any app to edit this picture. You just click on edit picture, then you find a resize, then you click on this percentage of original weight, then you reduce the percentage. I'm going to reduce it to 80%. Let's say 80%. And you click on OK. Now, when you are done, you save the file as. Don't click on save. If you click on save, it's going to replace the original file. So, click save as. Then here the name you have to type is this name background default background default uh, there should be there shouldn't be any space it's one word background default and be mindful of the spellings then you have to save it as jpeg it's already jpeg so save it as jpeg file and then uh, save it Then check the file size. And it's 149, so this is better. So
So what you have to do is to just copy and paste inside, or I will just drag it and drop it inside. All right, so I'm done. So now when I restart my computer, this picture should show. All right. So this is a simple tutorial on how to actually change your Windows background when your computer starts.